Catch it live on the ESPN app, and you can watch it anywhere. Exxon Mobil's unexpected energy has us taken a look at Columbia Mizzou to check out a possible Dark Horse Heisman candidate. Over the last 10 games, Drew Locke has thrown 50 completions, gaining at least 20 yards, has 38 touchdowns through the air, and a total QBR of 85, each ranking in the top five in FBS over that span. Time to play too high or too low when we look at the number. And, David, I'll start with you with this Georgia-Mizzou game. The number is 14, dogs on the road. Is that number too high or too low? I think it's too low. Um, when I look at Missouri and Drew Locke, he's had a lot of success. They haven't beaten a team with a winning record in two years now. And um, I think defensively, it's going to Des. They're going to have a, their hands full stopping the run game from Georgia. Last year, Drew Locke had some success against Georgia passing the football. I think he'll yeah. have some stats and he'll put up some numbers, but I don't think there's going to be very many stops from that Missouri defense. Yeah, I like Georgia's run game too now, especially Holyfield's coming to his own. I, I think the number is too low. I was foolish enough to pick South Carolina to beat Georgia a couple of weeks ago when they played in Columbia. I'm not going to make that mistake again. So mm -hmm. I think Georgia covers. They're, they'll probably win this game by 17 points. I like what yeah. you did there, Des. Columbia, Columbia, Missouri. That was nicely yeah. done, exactly. Des. I like that. Don't make that same <laughs> mistake twice, Des. Uh, everyone's <laughs> making the mistake of picking against Bama. Not everybody, but some people are because the numbers are too high and they just seem to cover every week. They got a big number this week, 26 and a half in Tuscaloosa against a and Des, is that number too big or too low? Chris, you know, based on what we saw a couple of weeks ago from A&M, you would think that that number is too big, but now with two at the quarterback position, it seems like they can score Alabama can without even trying to. So I think that Alabama will um, win this game big. But, David, you know, I'm going to say that number is too high. That's a little too high. Give Jimbo okay. some respect. You confused me for a second there. I was trying to figure it out, but – I think it's about right, I guess. I mean, listen, A&M, maybe Mon has some passing game success, and maybe it's a little bit too high, and Alabama finally comes down to earth. All right, sure. Oklahoma okay. State got a big win against Boise State last weekend. 14-point favorite against a Texas Tech team that can put up some points, Pollock. They can put up points, but they can't stop a nosebleed. Um, so, <laughs> I, listen, I, I know Cliff Kingsbury, it doesn't matter who's a quarterback. You know, you lose your quarterback game one, and it's just – you play a freshman and it's all good and everything looks great, but defensively, I still think Oklahoma State will get more stops and I think Texas or Oklahoma State will win. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I like the, the 14. I like I like Oklahoma. I mean, I like Oklahoma State at minus 14. So I think they'll cover. Coming to the season, I thought the Texas Tech will have a much better defense, but they mm. really have disappointed me thus far. So I think that the Cowboys are safe at minus 14.